four, rabbit and coquette bird. Listen. Rabbit lived in a hole in the ground, between two rocks. He was a funny, kind, and friendly animal. His home was small and simple, and he didn't have lots of things to eat. But Rabbit had lots and lots of great friends. I like inviting my friends to come and eat with me. Rabbit said, "I love sharing my dinner with them, and then talking all night with them." Rabbit knew all the animals that walked, hopped, swam, and flew in the forest. He always stopped to help, or to talk to them. But he couldn't talk to Coquette Bird. She lived on a high cliff in the forest. She had no friends because she didn't want to stop to help or to talk to any of the other animals. Coquette Bird had beautiful head feathers. She liked looking at her face in the lake all day. Rabbit was sad about that. Oh, Coquette Bird needs a friend. He thought. I've got an idea. Coquette Bird. He called loudly one morning when he saw her near the lake. Coquette Bird didn't answer him. Coquette Bird. He called more loudly. Let's be friends. Come and eat with me this evening. Coquette Bird looked at Rabbit, shook her head feathers at him, and laughed. <laughs> no, I'm too busy to eat with a rabbit, and your home is too small and simple. She added. I only eat in big and beautiful homes, like mine. But I have moonfish, blue cheese sandwiches, and lime cakes for dinner this evening. Rabbit answered. Please come. Oh, I love eating moonfish, blue cheese sandwiches, and lime cakes. Coquette Bird said, "How many moonfish have you got?" Four,、oh, Rabbit said. "How many blue cheese sandwiches?" Five, Rabbit answered. "And how many lime cakes have you got?" "I've got six of those." He said quietly.、Uh, okay, she said. I can eat with you this evening. Oh! And she did, but she didn't talk to Rabbit. She didn't listen to his questions or answer them. And she didn't ask Rabbit about his home or his hobbies. She just shook her beautiful head feathers at him, and quickly ate all of his moonfish, all of his blue cheese sandwiches, and all of his lime cakes, and then flew back home again. <coughs> The next day. Rabbit asked Coquette Bird to dinner again, and she ate all of his jungle fish, all of his carrot soup, and all of his pear salad. Then she flew up and up, back home to her cliff again. <coughs> On the third day, Rabbit had another idea. I can't eat with you this evening, Coquette Bird, 
but I've got some food for you. He called when she came to look at her face in the lake. You can take it to your big, beautiful home to eat it there. Rabbit put a scarf on the ground quietly and carefully. He put two coconut biscuits on it. Then, more quietly, he hopped on the scarf and quickly made a big knot at the top. Come and get your food. Rabbit called loudly from inside the scarf. The scarf was like a big bag with Rabbit inside it now. Coquetta Bird picked up the scarf and flew back home with it. When she got home, Coquetta Bird took off the beautiful feathers from her head and then opened the scarf. Rabbit jumped out and looked at her kindly. He could see that her home was small and simple like his. <gasps> Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Coquetta Bird said. I haven't got my beautiful head feathers on. Coquetta Bird, Rabbit said. You are more beautiful without those feathers on your head. Am I? She asked. Yes, Rabbit said. And your home is beautiful too. Is it? She asked. Yes, Rabbit answered. Now, let's share these coconut biscuits. Here's one for you and one for me. <laughs> Rabbit and Coquetta Bird enjoyed their food. Mm. <laughs> then, like two old friends, they talked and talked all night, and then had breakfast. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs>